What's up guys, Justin here from TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another V-Ray quick tip for you. So in these videos, I would just wanna cover some kind of quick tips for creating better renderings within V-Ray. So in today's video, I wanna focus on creating realistic corners within your renderings. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So the point of these short videos is I just wanna get into like one or two little tips that are gonna help you make your renderings better. So I feel like there's a lot of tutorials out there that just cover a ton of stuff and it's really hard to keep up and so I'm hoping if I can kind of keep this to more of a little in these videos keep these to more of a short tip we'll be able to cover some more material and it'll be helpful for you so leave a comment below let me know what you think about these short videos but in this case what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the effects that corners have within our V-Ray models and so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a couple different walls and so I'm just gonna draw a wall and push pull it up within SketchUp and then I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna make a copy of it using the move tool in copy mode and so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna apply a V-Ray material. So in this case, usually a good example of this kind of thing is a brick material. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're just gonna apply the Bricks A01 material. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna triple click on this object to select all the faces, and then I'm gonna right click on my bricks and click add to scene. And so that'll add this to my material list, and then I can right click and click apply material to selection. What that's gonna do is that's gonna apply this material to this face. And so the first thing you're gonna notice, um, depending on your settings, is this may come in with the brick being way too small. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the materials section of my tray, I'm gonna click on the eyedropper, and I'm just gonna sample that. And then I'm gonna go into edit and I'm gonna make this more of a 36 by 36 sized material. So 24 by 24 may work as well. So in this case, I'm just gonna go 36 by 36. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete out my default model. But then what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna apply this same material to this other object as well. And that's because we're gonna use this as kind of a comparison. And then I'm gonna move these over so they're a little bit closer together. And uh, so, what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna come in and we're just gonna run an interactive render. And in this case, I've gone into my dimensions and I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna make this a 1280 by 720 piece specifically because we're not doing anything super heavy. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend this if you have a very detailed render. But then I'm just gonna click on this drop down, and I'm just gonna start an interactive render. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna render out my walls. And notice I haven't really done anything with uh, my lighting or anything like that. We're just gonna use the default lighting. But um, so what you're gonna notice when you look at this rendering is these materials look pretty good. They're V-Ray materials, they're bump mapped. Um, so the bump mapping should be turned on by default. I'll just double check. Yeah, it's all bump mapped. And so it looks fairly realistic. But the problem is if you look at these corners, these corners don't look realistic because in real life, nothing comes to a sharp point like this. So if you look at like the corners in the room that you're in, you'll notice that they're more kind of rough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a SketchUp extension to round off these corners to make them look more realistic. So I'm gonna stop my interactive render and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use the extension round corner. And I will link to a video about round corner from uh, my other channel about SketchUp. But basically what this extension does is it gives you a couple different options for rounding off and beveling different edges. And so we're gonna start off and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try beveling this edge. And so by beveling, what I mean is we're gonna take this sharp point off. So we're just gonna bevel this edge so that it's more of a diagonal face instead of a point. So you can just go in and you can just click on the bevel option and you can see there's a bunch of different options in here. Specifically, what we're worried about is the offset. We don't want that to be very big, but once you have the bevel option open, you can come over here and you can click on this corner. And what this extension is gonna do is that's gonna give you a preview of where that's gonna get beveled. So basically, this edge is gonna go away and this is gonna bevel this face from the green line to the green line. And then once you have this set up the way that you want, you can go ahead and just click off to the side. And uh, it says click to execute, but what that's gonna do is that's gonna come in here and that's gonna bevel this edge. And you'll notice when it does this, basically what you get is you get, if I turn hidden geometry on, in this case, all this does is just basically cuts the edge of this off. And so you'll notice that 
in some of these locations, this results in a little bit of warping, not a whole lot. But what I'm gonna do now is I've got this one edge beveled and now we're gonna go in and we're gonna rerun our interactive render. And when I click the run button, pay attention to this corner. So you'll see what happens is instead of this coming to a point, like if you look at this edge right here, you can see that that's not very realistic because it's still coming to a point. But you'll notice that this edge that we beveled looks a lot more realistic. So your bricks kind of look like they're actually beveled off. So in addition, Round Corner has tools that do more than just bevel, it'll actually round this edge off. And so, cause for example, this just kind of cuts across your face right here. And it looks fine in your rendering, but sometimes you want this to be a little bit smoother curve. And so there's two options in here. There's Round Corner and there's Sharp Corner. And these do the same thing on your edges, but they just, Depending on which one you select, that's gonna affect what happens at this intersection point. Well, in this case, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna use the round corner option. And we're gonna come in here and we're gonna be able to click on this corner. And again, just go in and make sure that you have your offset set to something a little bit small so it looks kind of realistic. So in this case, I have that set to a quarter inch. And so when I do that, you can see that this gives me more of a rounded corner along this edge. But once we do this, what you're gonna notice is your textures get a little bit messed up when you do this. And so what we need to do is we need to use V-Ray's UV mapping in order to fix that. Um, because right now the texture isn't mapped properly and so SketchUp is putting different parts of this image on different faces. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come in and we're just gonna select this whole thing. We're gonna put it in a group. So you're gonna right click and click make group and then you can right click on your group and I'll kind of zoom in so you can see it when it does this, but you can right click on your group, go down to V-Ray UV tools and just click on triplanar projection world. And when you click on that, you can see how V-Ray comes in and it maps this material across this corner. And so now, so now if we're to zoom out and we look at these two different edges, you can see how while this one comes to a point and it doesn't look very realistic, this one is more curved. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Do you have a different way that you prefer to do this? I just love having that rendering conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering tutorials every week. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.